No time to waste today. Big show today. I'm listening to your music. If you want your music listened to, reviewed, critiqued, analyzed, hopefully not laughed at, uh, you can become a member with our certified therapist membership tier. It's five bucks to get your song reviewed next week. Uh, YouTube likes it when you're hooked in the beginning of the episode to encourage you to listen to more. So uh, I'm going to have my editor drop in something funny. This is my impression of Toad singing Not Like Us by Kendrick Lamar. <laughs> First, we have Chris Castro, who has a pound cake freestyle that he has titled The Golden Era. Uh, for future reference, <laughs> so that if I'm going to spend hours reviewing music, I don't get immediately sniped by YouTube's copyright, let's rap over uh, some original beats. But it's cool. This time we'll let it slide. Here we go. It's here today and going tomorrow. <laughs> Rags to riches, I'm so ambitious Started from the bottom, now my whole plan's different This is drive-by music, hope you die to it Divine intervention, hope y'all alive through it Fidel tape done, I hope y'all all vibe to it Say Chris Cass a lot, so you know it's my music I'm beasting now, cause I know it's close to feasting season Your table's full of Judas, but we're the only niggas eating The snakes come out of the grass just to kiss your ass Real overweight steaks, so none of them last Treat them like Brenda's baby, throw them in the trash Me and hip-hop produce a lot of body bags and nine had the potential to murder instrumentals Blessed with credentials, so I made that shit essential Freestyle all the timeline, stay stuck on my temple Even my double entendres had innuendos The reality of versatility challenged me To stay flattering, but any given time shattered dreams Coping with my dad's passing, mom's mad at me Made it challenging for any girlfriend to last with me but that's a cold case of hard times And giving up on any of those shooting star signs Like a mason, keep a G with those guidelines And use the pyramid schemes as my guideline So this is solid. Using pyramid schemes as my guidelines is crazy because pyramid schemes are not good. Uh, here's the issue with rapping over somebody else's beat. It's kind of impossible not to compare you to the original song, the original artist, the original mix. So I find it personally super hard to get like super emotionally invested in a song that was created for drake an artist i have not listened to in weeks but i'm not gonna hold that against you i'm just letting you know what's going through my mind when i'm listening to it uh flow is good delivery is good i feel like the enunciation could be a little bit better because even though i'm locked in to the lyrics i'm still like and i bought some new headphones just for this i got some audio technicas on like i'm a i'm a real I'm a real critic these days. I'm just kidding. That's not true. But so far, it's a perfectly fine song. But hopefully we hear something that um, bumps us up a level even higher, you know, because right now I, I don't hear anything that necessarily sets this person apart from any other person that's freestyling over a pound cake beat. So we'll see. Line. Illumination for Illuminati. Feel the hatred of the waking flowing through my body. Still sacred, but we praise it like a new Bugatti. Play that seven day theory like it's the only copy. Blasting Hail Mary, walking out my building lobby. Pop driven real early by my brother Bobby. Primo beats and bunch of verses that were written sloppy. This was my daily routine, so no one could stop me. I feel like when you're writing raps, it should be very personal. It should all come from personal experience, and it feels like this person has that down. A lot of people have a hard time talking about personal things and making it entertaining but the way that this guy flows the way that he delivers like it actually sounds like it's coming with some sort of passion now i'm gonna skip this instrumental section where he's kind of like doing some like in between the verse like yeah yeah i rap i'm phone him fuck with me type stuff uh and we're gonna move on to the next verse <laughs> Fuck it, it comes off like a backpack Rap, all the zippers intact And the fact that I'll kill tracks Will make the listeners react Nickname me Pookie Cause I always was addicted to crack Music was my use as a drug That came with a scratch The rebirth of the golden age is me Digging up graves Get Big Pac, L Pine Just to teach me their ways Carry the cross with Nazir Take over for Jay Get stand fans like M Touch the sky like Ye Take lyrically underground But hit radio waves Get signed to a label But never become its slave The puppet master to these actors Who play fake for the cameras My vivid this was in depth you could tell by my stanza that i'll never sell out i don't care what the price is i'm enriched with my soul so i could tell you what life is and since sleep is the cousin of death i pay homage to breath the bronx bomber this assassination attempt a lot of references to um other popular artists here overall 
The song was good. Would I come back to it? <laughs> Probably not. No. But that's mainly just because I'm kind of at the point now where, especially when it comes to this <laughs> this song, honestly, I have to be real with you all. It just caught me at a bad time because I am like, I have this unrecorded session. Um, well, I have this recorded session that hasn't been like completely finished being recorded and edited where I talk about how like I literally haven't listened to Drake in weeks. It just doesn't hit the same anymore. And then, then the first song I go to listen to today is over a Drake beat. And it's and it's referencing like multiple artists that are currently um, more or less spiraling, either personally or professionally, um, where we... We get yay mentions. We get, obviously, Drake mentions towards the beginning. The song is fine. Um, I'm feeling a light to decent five. Cinco. It's because I feel like if you're going to rap over a song, the the least I would expect is that it sounds, if not, it's not going to sound as good as when Drake did the song because, obviously, the song that Drake did is mixed and mastered perfectly in like a professional studio and i feel like it's hard not to think about the post-production of the song when the beat is literally somebody else's beat does that make sense but yeah a good freestyle i like the lyrics i like the flow i like the delivery um let's let's get our own beats like it makes sense to rap over other people's beats for practice or if you're like me and you just do it for fun every once in a while to have like a fun outro to your show but if you actually want to submit something for criticism i would recommend you you know submit something that is more original that's just my opinion this song is from a youtube channel called btd specter and it's called distant mind <laughs> afraid when the song first started that I was legitimately going to fall asleep and not because the song is boring or bad but just because it just gave me this very chill vibe like very atmospheric I feel like that might be a bit overused I kind of feel like um it felt a little staticky a little like underwater vibe I don't know there's this episode of Bojack Horseman where he is underwater the entire episode and nobody's talking to anybody at all because pretty much everybody underwater or they're like undersea creatures and he's a horse and he doesn't know how to activate like the thing in his helmet to let him talk whatever this isn't about bojack horseman but you should watch the show it's great um but this just sounds like something that would be playing in that episode and i like it i like the sound of it and even when the vocals came in i'm not super focused on the lyrics but it did feel like the delivery kind of matched the overall thematic sense of the song's self Try saying that five times fast. Uh, but yeah, I surprisingly really enjoy this like more mellow vibe we have going on here. Empty cage, no heart, no hollow void. You want to fill this space, but lately you're my life a void. Talking problems, so just stop a word. It is to let the bottom, it's okay. Because when with you, I'm at the top, I feel a stop a fall. Mental in a place I never thought even possible. The back, I pack my shit and leave for better. It's impossible to feel the way I have and no for better. But it's all I know. Grab my light and quick and got the darkness with the powder dough. Think I found my peace of while I'm living. Now they watch it close. Demons breathing close, a reef of blood and I'm my open dose I don't want to disappoint my family, so I'm working home Every day I hustle, grind like teeth into the blood puddles Wish a bitch could bring this, no one getting in my inner bubble Ay, No one getting in my inner bubble Fuck your friends, they think you're snake and I don't want the fucking trouble Ay, Rather ride the wave until I die Rather ride that wave until I die Ay, Rather ride that, rather ride that wave until I die Ay, Rather ride that, rather ride that wave until I die, Ay, rather ride that, rather ride that wave until I die. Rather, 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 wait until I die. 
I know what this sounds like. I know why I like this. Uh, I sleep with a with like a noise machine at night that plays like I don't know what it's called. White noise, brown noise. I I, I don't know, but the background instrumental it kind of sounds like that noise a little bit but it also has like the like it's nice it feels non-confrontational i appreciate it um i'm rating these songs based on how much i like them not necessarily like their level of artistic merit um i guess that kind of plays a part into it but all in all would i listen to the song again yeah like it was it was nice like if i followed this artist and they were releasing more and more music if I was going to hear more songs from them, I would like them to, um, I would like to hear different songs where I can kind of focus a little bit more on the lyrics. That, that bit at the end was, was pretty wavy. It was like, rather ride that wave until I'm gone. I like that. It's a good song. I'm feeling like a strong six to a light seven. Siete. Something like that. Good, solid effort. I appreciate it. Thank you for submitting. Next song is called 99 Camry in parentheses my feelings and it's by Vadrik. So I love the way the instrumental started. It sounded very, uh, sounded very light, sounded very optimistic. And then within the first couple bars, he's like, I'll kill both of us right now. And I was like, that's, that is surprising to hear, to say the least, at uh, 114 in the afternoon central time, just sitting here at my desk in my apartment. And I was just like, damn, everybody's going to die. Um, what also kind of bothered me the very beginning, uh, as far as when the vocals came in, I played it back like four or five times and I could not get the first words of the verse. And that annoys me. But I do enjoy the lyrical content as far as like its vulnerability, talking about um, how, you know, I'll get both of us killed right now. Uh, no, despite what I'm doing, it feels like it's not enough. Like I, I like the the rawness of it. Um, I have opinions on the mix, but I'm just going to save them for later and see if anything in the song changes before I give an opinion on that. My car's been running, running off of my My car's been running, running off of my Yes, I'm I like how this song is written. Um, my car has been running off my feelings. Obviously, the title of the song is 99 Camry, and then in parentheses, it's, it's my feelings. I kind of understand the thematic angle that he's taking with it. The delivery of the actual lyrics are kind of what's leaving me a little bit unfulfilled. There's this um, way, way, way in the background. There's like, run, run, run. But I know that I I truly feel like if I was listening to this through like a speaker or in the car or something, I might not hear it. I feel like it's only because I have my headphones turned up so much. So I feel like there are some like mixing things that could be fixed because it just kind of leaves the delivery of the lyrics and the passion that I believe is there in this person. It, 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 I feel like the mix of the song isn't doing its service, if that makes sense. But the overall theme of the song I like, and the instrumental is like fully carrying. Like I really appreciate the sounds that we're getting behind the vocals. I just kind of wish that the vocals were a little more bright, a little more loud, a little more fine tuned. You feel me? Thank God one time, thank God, thank God. I say, I say, I say, I'm the perfect guy for you. I can write a love letter and rhyme it too. Let me tell you all the things that I can do. I can move the whole planet or a molecule. I can teach missionary like a dollar mule. I can line a nigga up like a follicule. I can do anything that you want. Look at us stuffing all the junk in the trunk. Here we thump in a bump. Here we come round the block. Junk in the trunk and a bump and a thump. This sounds like it was done low key off the top. Um, I could move a whole planet or a molecule. 
write a love letter, show you what I could do. I am unimpressed by these lyrics. And it also doesn't help that it sounds like somebody's playing the instrumental in a room and somebody is standing next to them in the same room and they're just like rapping alongside the instrumental. Like, I feel like I'm hearing somebody like spit off the dome. If it was entirely off the dome, then I'd be like, it's not that bad, but I do feel like it was written and it's not super impressive to me, which is odd because it felt like earlier in the song, it was a lot more, um, it seemed a little bit more emotionally driven. This kind of feels like we're filling time. If we come round the flock, oh, these crackers about to call the cops. Kind of bonnie ain't got a fucking died on us. Rain's here all the time, never night on us. Really think that the ops got the drop on us? Now, I'm going to talk through this part right here because it's pretty much basically just instrumental. And then when this bit comes back in after, I want to see if you can notice a difference when you hear, like, the, the background, like, run, run. Because to me, it seems like it's louder this time. And I, I can't explain it. Not here. See, now it's louder there. See? Run. Run. I don't know if that was intentional or not, but for me, it was just really hard not to notice. It's like there were earlier points in the song where I thought I heard it and then I was like, oh, it's too quiet. And that was like a that was like a that might have been like a skill related thing. I, I, I don't know. Or like the way it's being recorded. I feel like if you have to ask these many questions about like how the song is being recorded and how it's being mixed, then the song isn't it's not achieving its goal, so to speak. If I so like. At the end of my episode, sometimes I'll put in a rap that I wrote off of like a beat that I stole from some big artist that's never going to care or know. And if I was receiving feedback from people like, bro, what mic did you use? Or this sounds, uh, <laughs> this would sound great if it wasn't mixed like dog shit. Like if people were leaving me comments like that, I would be like, oh, I, I, I got to get it together. If you're asking this many questions about the quality of the production surrounding the song, then that means that like it's not achieving his desired effect and all i can think about throughout this song is like wait what did he say there or why does why is that louder here than this is louder here so even though the concept of the song is good and some of the and the lyrics in the first half are good um the overall delivery the overall execution the overall mix is leaving me a little dissatisfied so i'm feeling like a strong three, if I'm going to be honest. Tres. Keep going. There's potential here. I'm just one guy. Uh, thank you for your submission. Let's move on. This song is called No Prayer by Kid98. Don't say no prayer for me. The vocals are actually as bright as the instrumental. Like, I like the bass. I I hear the theme. I'm getting the message. Brother sounds like he can hold a tune. I'm excited to hear what the verse sounds like. It's a good song so far. I'm, I'm, I'm cool with it. So just don't, don't say no. Times get hard, I don't drip. Nah, that ain't no help. I turn a vision to mission myself. Keeping my space, not complacent. Adversity comes and goes. I only grow. You see the moves more than aware. I see the evil, I see the despair. Can't do that negative energy here. Nah, cool on that. Got creative control. Stick to my principles, glued on that. I'll never fold, no matter the place to let into gold. I never stopped, not even slow. Look at the glow. Yeah, I'm connected. And keep in my soul, don't need the prayers of all. Don't say no nah. prayer for me. This song actually transitions really well from the hook into the verse and back into the hook. It feels very natural. 
Um, I will say that I didn't find the verse quite as compelling or as bright as the singing. Um, the, the rapping was fine. The flow was fine. It just felt like it was a little bit more underneath as far as um, the ability to like hear it explicitly uh, when compared to the singing part. But yeah, overall, I have no problem with the verse. It actually stayed on theme. It was it was well wrapped. Uh, I think it just could have, you know, been treated with as much care as the singing part was. I can see evil in the holy water. Don't say no prayer for me. There's others in need, man. Don't even bother. Cause that would be a waste of breath, I know. Yeah, I know, and ain't no sanctuary for me, so just don't, so just don't, don't say no prayer for me, for me, for me. don't say no prayer for me. I actually really enjoyed this song. I don't really have many problems with it. It's a short song. It's really just like a singing portion, one rap verse, and then another singing portion here. Um, I don't see like a ton of vocal range with the performance, but if you are going to kind of stay in like one neighborhood as far as like an octave goes, then it's really important that you hit those notes and you hold those notes, and and this person did. So honestly, I'm feeling like a... I feel like I liked a decent seven. Seven. Something like that. I would listen to this song again. It's a nice listen. I would listen to this artist again. W- would, I, would I call it one of my favorites that I've heard? Would I stack it up against the music uh, that I normally listen to on a day-to-day basis? It's not quite there at that professional level, but in my opinion, it's a solid track, and I would recommend. So, thank you. This song is called Off the Edge by White Boy Rick. Oh, in parentheses it says preview, so just so you know, this is just a preview of things to come. I have to be real with you guys. I just, the first time I heard this fir- these first couple of lines from this verse... I literally took my headphones off and I unplugged them from my mic and unplugged my mic from my computer and then listened to this again through just like (laughs) my MacBook's speakers because I was like, maybe it's me. Maybe I'm hearing something wrong. It just felt like very piercing is kind of the way that I would describe it, like kind of jarring. And you have to really focus to get the lyrics in my opinion, I don't know. Let me know if I'm wrong in the comments because for me, um, it just felt like a like an acquired hearing. But let's let's continue the song. There's something about this that I find endearing, that I enjoy, but there's also something about it that I just hate. It's it's kind of hard to describe. It's kind of like it's like you see like a like a beautiful woman that's also not your type at all. Does that make sense? Like I I like the melody, like I like the rhythm of the song. I like the way it sounds, but I also don't like the way that it sounds. It's kind of hard to explain. I think it's the I think it's the vocal filter that's being used. I feel like I'm just having to devote too much energy to understand what exactly the lyrical content is, but like the sounds are fun. But I kind of wish I knew more of what was going on. I just feel like I'm having to try too hard <laughs> to, to get what's happening. And that bothers me. I'd like to believe that most music doesn't have to be this way. You can just hear it 
as it is. And to be fair, to be fair to uh, White Boy Rick. To be fair to White Boy Rick. Words I just never thought I would say. Uh, this is a preview. <laughs> this is a preview, so maybe things will get cleaned up and it'll be better to understand when it's like a finished product. But right now, I'm just like, I feel like there's something here that I want to like. And right now, I just, I'm, I'm not there yet. Everything thanks to me, but it's rooted in your affect. Teachings without respect of the effect of a forced dogma. So I have to reject it. It left me feeling battered. Love's for was what's the matter? Doesn't matter if I'm shattered. I've gone out the end with up in this this part more towards the end is like i have a harder time understanding it than like that verse i feel like we just heard a verse that was right before this end bit of the preview at least that seemed easier to understand uh i believe there is a full version of this song on a white boy rick's channel i leave a link in the description to all of these user submitted songs in my opinion is it a song that I would listen to. I feel like this song would go like really hard if it was performed live. It's just as I'm hearing it, it's not giving me the vibe that I like. To be fair, it's not the full version. Um, so, but I just have to go with what I'm feeling. My gut is feeling a light four. Four. It's not necessarily my kind of track, uh, but I also haven't listened to more of this music. I haven't listened to the finished product. I'm just reviewing what was submitted in my Discord. So yeah, light four. Appreciate the song. There are fun bits of it, but you know, it's not my kind of jam, bud. This is No Small Talk by Don Aaron. I said, baby, you fine. She said, how you figure? Give me a little wine while I pour more liquor. Come and be mine, make you move more quicker. No small talk from a Caroline nigga. I said, you fine. She said, how you figure? Give me a little wine while I pour more liquor. Come and be mine, be a move more quicker. No small talk from a Caroline nigga. Yeah, I got this new girl, and she my everything. Been looking for a type since I was 17. Got a nigga window shopping for a wedding ring. Niggas call me crazy, but I couldn't agree. She let me hit it from the back, and then I hit it from the side. And she she got to make it need, so she always down to ride. I ain't know just what I wanted. I ain't trying to waste your time. Who would have thought that you would be the apple of my eye? The choice is elementary. When I hear your voice, I'm sedimentary. Contagious with lechery. That's a weird ass way to say you meant for me. I was praying that look what heaven sent for me. Come up to the crib for a wine and die. Cause the way you move, it's just hard to find. You my latest muse, baby. Hit my line. Cause it feels so good with you all the time. Very catchy beat. Very confident delivery. Lyrical content doesn't go crazy, but it doesn't matter because it's really just more of a fun track, laid back, no small talk. I dig it. Is it blowing me away? Not necessarily, but for what it's worth, it's a solid song so far. I'm interested to see if anything changes, anything switches up. Granted, it is relatively short, but let's listen to the rest. I said, baby, you fine. She said, how you figure? Give me a little while while I pour more liquor. Come and be mine, make you move more quicker. No small talk from a Caroline nigga. I said, you fine. She said, how you figure? Give me a little while while I pour more liquor. Come and be mine, be a move more quicker. No small talk from a Caroline nigga. Now me and Shorty, we tripping off of the toast stools. Baby, got a bottle and now I'm just trying to hold you. Green tea and I'm sipping on some soju. Real bougie bitch, she got a shit for the whole foods. Yeah, she the creme de la creme. All white French tips from the nails to the fence. All them other bitches jealous because they want to be kept. While all these niggas overzealous not knowing I'm him. Some say half the battle is the instrumental. Others say half the battle is the confidence of one's delivery. I feel like this man's conquered essentially both of those battles. Now, there's a difference between songs like this that are made by um, people that don't necessarily have like a professional place where they go to mix and master their recordings and obviously somebody who was like radio ready. So that's the only thing that's truly holding this song back. If you play it like through your iPhone, it sounds perfectly fine. When you listen to it through headphones, it would also sound perfectly fine until you listen to another song that was put out by a mainstream artist and you're like, oh, I can just see the difference in the post-production work. But this has all the elements of a like perfectly fire song. Like, I like it. If one of my friends made this, I would be like, damn, don't stop. <laughs> like, this is this is really good. Baby, use a tan and girl call my phone. Yeah, I can't even pretend, but I always let it ring because you're more than a friend. And I don't really see this thing between a C and an N. Just trying to spoil you, baby. I know you've seen what I spent. Don't want to wake up because it feels like a dream that I'm in. You always asking if I love.
love you, girl. I mean what I said. A nigga touch you, he gon' end up with this beam on his head. I said, baby, you fine. She said, how are you figure? Give me a little while while I pour more liquor. Come and meet mine. I found this song really enjoyable, not just because it's upbeat, not just because it's it's like a cool dance track. And like, I'm the type of person like I really appreciate music. You can like throw your headphones on and you can dance around your home by yourself. Like it can make you more productive <laughs> if need be, if you're trying to get something done, if you're trying to just like let loose. So I appreciate the song. Again, the only thing holding it back is like any uh, like nerdy back in uh, production stuff. But I'm feeling like a, a strong seven seven because i would listen to this again if this popped up on like some random spotify playlist or played on the radio i'd be like this is this is a bop i enjoy this to get into that eight range it has to be like a type of song where i'm like oh i want to add this to my personal playlist and like listen to this on any given day while i'm doing anything but it's a very good song um i would say it's definitely a higher level than most of the songs that are submitted so that's probably the best compliment that I could pay this one, but great work. I appreciate it. This song is called Complacent by Call Me LQ. Actually, it would make more sense if I just said LQ because like their name in the Discord is Call Me LQ, which makes me think that maybe their performer name, their stage name is just LQ because they're telling you to call them LQ. Whatever. Here, Here's the song. Seeing nothing we're facing The battle of being glad I erased it Uh, part of the time I've been waiting for time I discovered all of my flaws Now I'm with them, I'm fine My preference is just acceptance Everything is just fine It ain't like I can do much about it I don't get no rewind Some call it eternal peace But I be I was feeling this Like I was vibing to this really hard Like in my head I could hear the word eight, eight, eight. Like I could hear it But I feel like this is a mistake Call it eternal peace but I When he says call it eternal peace And the mic pops I don't think that was intentional. I'm just going to be real. Peace, but I mean and, th and that's sad because I feel like this truly had the potential to probably be my favorite song that I heard today, but I can't just act like I didn't hear that. Whenever we're putting out music for public consumption or even if we're sharing it in a private discord that we would like for public to hear it, we we needed to be like public ready. You feel me? Like I used to put out podcasts where the mic would pop or there'd be background noise. You could hear cats fighting or whatever. And then eventually I grew out of that. Like that that comes with time. And I feel like I like I'm not out here trying to scold or lecture anybody. I'm just saying, you know, we we gotta listen back to our stuff before we put it out. You feel me? Some call it eternal peace, but I be stressing these streets. My decision making disease whenever I see increase. This animal lays on me when he once was a beast. What's the reason behind the climb if I feel that I've beat? My family told me that the dream was to go out and get cream. Be a god of light unto others, so I turned to a beam. My pockets be satisfied, I get my pay pay and rings. But this journey, I walk alone because I don't do it with teams. Because I'm complacent. Oh, there it is again. I'm complacent. The battle with nothing anticipated. Okay, that's the last time we're going to bring it up. The battle with making no more arrangements. The battle with battling current placement. Yeah, I'm complacent. The battle of good enough and perfection. The battle of teaching and learning lessons. The battle with dealing with my obsession. The irony of this song uh, being around the concept of complacency, but either having it, it could either be the quality of the microphone or it could just be the fact that you're too close to it and or you don't have a filter on the mic or whatever the reason is. Um, if you get stuck in complacency like I was, <laughs> just constantly cranking out shows without listening back to them, you can get complacent and allow uh, your mic to pop. And then it's all people can think about when you're actually rapping. This is such a great song. Like, it's sad. Like, this is a really great song. I would listen to it, like, all the time. Like, this is a good artist. I love the instrumental. I love the lyrics. I love the delivery. It's actually, like, c considering the issue with the P's for this microphone and... Like, it, it's actually mixed, like, surprisingly well, like, better than the average amateur. But it's it's something about that specific, those specific bits that completely throw me off. Okay, I'm done talking about it. Let's listen to the rest of the song. But it's it's a good song. It's just, it's just unfortunate when something small like that can get in the way of, like, a great record. Uh, most of the time, I need a little more time. God bless me with a new vision. I don't get it, I'm fine. It's time for me to take a break. I'm always up on the grind. You either starting in the game or you riding the pine. Some say the evidence is evident, but no, I'm heaven sent. They bring it up like it's irrelevant. Okay, I can't ignore it anymore. All right, that's 
that's it. I'm not gonna play the rest of the song. I like the song. I appreciate it being submitted. We we gotta come with a little more finished work than that. So I'm going to say that it is a I'm I'm feeling like a strong five to a light six, which is sad because if there weren't those like small technical issues, I was feeling like a like a decent to strong eight. Put it in my playlist, pump it directly into my veins. But we want to make sure that uh, I hold myself to a certain standard when I'm putting stuff out on YouTube for public consumption. We have to hold ourselves to the same standard whenever we're uh, we're putting out music. And this isn't to say that this song is worse than like like plenty of other songs that I've listened to where I'm like, this is a two, this is a three, this is a four. This song is better than those songs, but those small things can completely take you out of the experience. I was just listening to a YouTuber talk about the show on HBO Max called The Idol, and The Weeknd is acting in that show, but the show is about a pop star, and because The Weeknd is playing a guy in the show, but the guy is acting like he knows a lot about music, but he looks and sounds like The Weeknd, and at one point in the show, the girl is like, what do you know about music? I'm the pop star, not you. And it's like, I don't know if that's meant to be a joke or not, but it just, it takes you out of the show. And we kind of talked about this earlier. When you're listening to music and you're asking questions about the quality of the equipment that's used to record it, it takes you out of that immersion. You know, it's like if Chris Brown is in a movie that has nothing to do with dancing, but then like just to be funny or silly or quirky with a date that he's on, like he he busts a quick move. You're like, wait a second. That is. I just remembered that's Chris Brown. You know, you don't want anything that takes you out of the experience. Even when you're listening to my podcast, like things happen around my apartment when I'm recording. And when I was an amateur podcaster, I would just leave it in because I was too lazy, too complacent rather, to even worry about taking it out. But now I want to make sure that when this, what I'm saying right now, hits your ears, it sounds like a professional. That's what I'm going for. Even though I have like limited resources, you know. I'm a dude with a couple laptops, an editor that happens to sound like him and shares the same name, and it's a pretty small operation. But for the most part, one thing that I don't get a lot of feedback about is the quality of the sound. And when we're making music, that's kind of all that we have, you know? I didn't mean to go on like a whole tangent or whatever. The song's good, okay? Just just get a better mic or get a filter or, or listen back to it or whatever. But yeah, um, could have been up in the eights. Instead, we're, we're gonna stick with a strong five. Five. Let's move on. Last song we're listening to today is somebody that has submitted a song before. They said they wanted to redeem themselves. The song is called 13. It's by creator... Oh, my God. Eornum? Bro. Eornum? Play? Link's in the description. The f***ing song! Yeah. 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 Okay. 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 Dude, I love the bass in this song. The boom, 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 boom. It sounds like there's police sirens going on in the background. All types of chaos. Like, I feel like Brother's about to snap. Started about 13 years old when I started changing yeah. and such. I had just moved to the 8 and I was changing yeah. a bunch. But I was stuck on the crutch, stuck on trying to find my young self. Find my but young. I ain't looked to no one out there for help. But the music and the streets and the people around me, surrounding me. Growing up, that's just how it was. While growing up, while growing up. Growing up, growing up, it was always me and a couple of homies. Whoa. Thinking about it now, really? I was rolling with dummies. We were strolling through the streets and we were searching for crumbs. And that shit was nothing. Cause we didn't have nothing. From nothing meant something to us. Something meant nothing to us. Something meant nothing to us. I just had no one to trust. I just had no one to look for, to look towards. So I went, so I went to the street, the street and I did, and I did the thing, the thing that I did that I as did. a young damn kid. Started about 13 years old when I start changing this such. I had just moved to the eight and I was changing a bunch. But I was stuck on the crutch, trying to find my young self. But I ain't looked to no one out there for help but myself. I want to like this song because I really like the way that it sounds sonically. Like as far as the instrumental, like dude's sliding on the beat. Like it's, he's rapping well. My core issue with the song is the ad libs are too much for me because they're pretty much the same volume as him rapping 
So it almost sounds like there are multiple people rapping at the same time, but it's still his voice, if that makes sense. I would kind of wish there were just some passages where he's just rapping. It's mixed perfectly fine, actually. Like, his voice versus the beat is cool. It's just the fact that there are multiple voices that I'm listening to at the same time, and it's almost making it difficult for me to fully grasp the lyrics but overall the song sounds good and i don't remember what the other uh what the other song was that this person submitted but this song is definitely better like i i like this song there's just a little bit too much stuff going on in the background for me to be really be able to focus on the message you feel me also this is just like my feeling this is just how i am hearing it through like my headphones and my apartment like if you feel differently like please comment about this because maybe this is just me not hearing it right i don't know Whoa, whoa, I ain't look to no one out there for help. Nah, nah, I ain't look to no one out there for help. I swear, I ain't look to no one out there for help. For myself, and that's it. For myself, no regrets. Whoa, so pick a path. Pick a path, either path. It can be a path for you, it can be a path for me, it can be a path for who. Pick a path, either path. Pick a path, one or two. It can be a path for who. I'm feeling a decent to strong seven here. Seven. This is a good song. I feel like the layering and ad libs kind of flooded the song a little bit, especially towards the middle of it. But if you take that one issue away, mix good, flow good, energy match the instrumental, which I, I love. I just I love that instrumental. I'm honestly like I lean more towards being like a melodic rap performance guy. Overall, I had a good experience. So yeah, I would recommend and I'm, I'm landing on a light seven here. Moving forward, if you want your music reviewed, become a member with the top link in the description. Make sure you select the certified therapist option for $5. That guarantees that your song gets reviewed. If you want to just support the channel generally, because YouTube's probably going to snipe that uh, pound cake instrumental at the beginning of the video, which is okay. You can still support the channel for $1 either way. Uh, I, I think that membership tier is called how much a dollar costs. Um, speaking of, oh, next part of our TPAB breakdown is coming next week. Oh? But if you've made it this far, please leave a like and comment your favorite track or your favorite part from one of these songs. It takes a lot of guts to uh, submit your song to a guy that's going to play it on his channel for 20,000 people and then say that like you don't even think it's mixed well or whatever like like that 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 takes a lot of confidence so please show these people love if you like their music go to their channel subscribe or find them on spotify um and i want to thank everybody again for submitting their music like it's not it's not an easy thing to do um Finally, if you do want to become a certified therapist, join that $5 membership tier. You do get shouted out at the end of every video, just like this. Oh yeah, my time to shine. Shout out to Agony, Emmy McCoy, Messina, Ethan Throwaway Beats, DC, Framerate, On The Hunt Productions, Jordan, Dre Benoit, and Johnny Carwash. Love you, mean it! Enjoy the outro. You know what? Here's me rapping like what I believe to be really hard, but it's like mixed like shit. So enjoy. I don't think you guys have heard this before. Fuck your life. Ops all scared like I snuck a knife. I'm light skin till you cut the light. Career be student, I'm somewhat bright. Loose with the diet with the bars, I'm tight. And y'all feel left out like I just turned right. And that's weak as hell, but I'm cool as Mike like Tyson. Jackson? He rapping like someone said last day on earth. Keep it 100, but he don't play turf. This year he's swimming, but he never surf. Cause he love these white people, but he won't partake. He is just happy he got a fair shake. Babes to lose weight, but got wrong kind of shake. He need the protein, but he got the Oreo. Boo hoo, he going home, but you don't want the smoke. Back to school, but I'm the teacher. Looking at my girl crazy, but you want a t shirt. No, I'm talking crazy like I sleep with a nine. Love her, not a fighter, but you can't mess with mine. Out of my element, avatar. Better stop asking if I'm busy, I get mad at y'all. Y'all don't even have a car. Why you talking rap if you never even had a bar? Now we pop off and that's no cap And I'm bass backwards like Snow Black And I won't explain but I make the rules Cause it's my show, I'm the guru And who knew he go this hard? 